Hey. It's Majin Bob. Or you could just simply call me Bobby. So, I don't know exactly how to uh, talk about this without sounding depressed. Um, I just really quickly want to let you know that I'm not depressed. I'm not in a destructive mindset or any kind of mindset that is um, harmful to my well-being my well-being but I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on um, what's going on in the current state of things and just simply what has happened in the past month which is something that I could never have thought possible so um, real quickly though I am glad that um, you guys have responded so well to my previous videos that honestly it has helped me a lot in just dealing with a lot of the a lot of the tragedies that have occurred so real quickly um, just to kind of get you up to speed um, as you've noticed from the video um, my house did burn down, although uh, burning down is kind of the wrong word. It has been burned. It's still standing, but it is not in the same state that is considered habitable, nor is it something that we can go back to. It's probably going to be demolished. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. The house will be demolished, and this is probably why I'm making the video, is because um, right now, we are living essentially abroad, right? We could only grab what we could have, and honestly, well, let's kind of show you, shall we? So, this is where the origin of the fire started. As you can see, this was hit heavily. It also smells still pretty bad. This, right there, if I zoom in right here, this is what used to be the room I used to produce videos in. It's essentially gone. Now, the stuff that I was able to save, well, let me show you. So, these are the cars I was able to save. Now, as you can see, some of them are in, in sleeves, like this one here. Um, but I did not save all of the other ones. The other ones I was not able to save. They are either water damaged, like this over here, or they just got burned. I know one of my ultimate rare dark magicians got burned into a crisp so there's that i was able to save some dvd stuff like my collection of dragon ball um although the problem is is that this i mean it's all smoky so i can't really touch it this the um the box at water damage but it's the discs they look fine but not not the box itself ps3 is all smoky my ps2 right there is all smoky with pictures of me and little league baseball um this thing so this i did not open it up until i had to uh take it out that sucks but this right here is the hard drive the ssd for my pc so i was able to save this so not everything is lost and yeah these ones some of them are actually very valuable to me but like especially my dark magician deck right there but this was all i was able to save everything else is gone 
So, uh, as to the things that I didn't really show, um, I didn't, I was not able to save some things. Um, there's a few cards that are just gone because of water damage. The other stuff, um, some of my comic books are damaged. Um, a lot of books that I had in my room are also damaged. Um, and all the DVDs that were in the office, which is where I produced everything, is basically gone. There's nothing there. So, yeah. Um, there's really not much I can say about this. It's all depressing, but... I really want to make sure that everyone knows that um, I'm doing okay, but my family is having a harder time uh, dealing with the reality. But let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what happened afterwards because the fire started on May twentieth, twenty twenty three, and not exactly too sure what happened we are still trying to figure out what happened in that regard as to how it started however a few days after the fire and where we heard the news that our house is condemned which means we can't live in it anymore um it got broken into someone decided to steal some things from us my brother got hit the hardest where he had his room essentially untouched, but they tried to steal a lot of things from his. He had a PS5 that was right there that was about to be about to be taken. His PC, although probably damaged with smoke, was still probably somewhat fine. But they stole a lot of things from him. They stole his gun. They stole his ID. They stole. Um, they stole some of his Yu-Gi-Oh collection, which I'm pretty bummed about, and a lot of other things that we still have a hard time figuring out what it is because we have to rack our, rack our heads around what was damaged in the fire, and then on top of that, what was stolen, which is kind of hard to tell because everything is covered in black. My little sister, some of her stuff got stolen, mostly the technology part of it. She had an Apple Watch, which was um, which was taken. On my end, they did try to look for something valuable of mine, although mine was mostly collectible stuff. So they didn't really get too far in that venture, but they still ransacked my house my room they ransacked my brother's room and although my sister room is already pretty bad um she claims that it was someone else that did it but we all know exactly whose room was the cleanest so and it wasn't hers but that is all i have to say about this and how everything's going about um, now, what is this going to do for me in the long run? I don't know, because on one hand, um, this video is going to be hard to for me to just, just kind of think about what's going on into the future. Everything is something that I never thought that I could think of. And honestly, I'm just going to have to uh, figure out what to do next, right? Now, that doesn't mean that I can't produce any kind of videos. The problem with it is that the video equipment that I had is gone. So the video camera, the lighting, and the, um, 
the microphone is all gone. And I was able to save, as I showed, save the high hard drive of my PC. But it's still kind of useless because I can't do anything with it right now. So what I can do, though, is I can produce a video. I can still edit things. I can still make something. But a lot of the gaming videos that I usually do, that's going to... That's going to have to stop hard because I don't have a computer anymore. I do have a laptop that I can, you know, um, at least edit stuff, but it's not going to be the same. There's some things I can still do, like I can still do some of the, uh, I can still hit the camera, that's one thing. <laughs> um, I can still do some of the stuff like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I used to do, but um, kind of rough on money right now because everything costs so much nowadays that it's going to be hard. Like it's going to be hard to do anything. So if you do want to help, um, I'll leave some links somewhere, usually in the description or I'll just, uh, put in the comment section where you can go to help out. Um, so I'm going to have to grab those links and, uh, yeah, again, if you want to, I'm not going to force you to it. This is not something about me needing money, although it would be helpful, but this is more about, this is the situation. This is reality right now. And yeah, can't change it. The only thing we can do right now is just push forward and at least keep some semblance of sanity. So that's all I have. If you enjoyed this video, I don't know how you would enjoy the video, except for the fact that everyone's okay, no one got hurt, then thanks. But yeah, that's the situation, and I really hope you do have a far better day than I did on that day <laughs> so I'll see you um, later I'll make some other like updates but for now this is probably the only update I can do for now so I will see you later and uh, have a great weekend have a great week have a great everything later peace